we were continuing with the taylor's theorem the statement of the theorem was let fz be analytic at all points within a circle c0 with center z0 and radius rho0 then for every point z within c0 fz is equal to fz0 plus sigma over n equal to 1 to infinity z minus z0 to the power n by factorial n fn z0 this we have to establish so far we have come up to equation number 4 in the last lecture before this this is equation number 3 which is fz equal to 1 upon 2 pi i integral over c f x i upon x i minus z 0 d x i plus z minus z 0 upon 2 pi i integral over c f x i upon x i minus z 0 whole square d x i plus z minus z 0 power n minus 1 upon 2 pi i integral over c f x i x i minus z 0 power n d x i plus z minus z 0 to power n upon 2 pi i it must be 2 pi i integral over c f x i d x i upon x i minus z into x i minus z 0 to power n this was equation number 3 we have utilized Cauchy integral formula and results on higher derivatives which gives fz equal to fz0 this becomes fz0 by Cauchy integral formula and by applying higher order derivatives for different values of n beginning with n equal to 1 2 3 and so on this expression integral over c f x i upon z minus z0 is square this will become f dash z0 so this will be fz equal to f z0 plus z minus z0 f dash z0 plus z minus next term will be z minus z0 square f double dash z0 upon factorial 2 and so on plus last but one term will be z minus z0 power n minus 1 f n minus 1 z0 by factorial n minus 1 plus rn where rn is this expression z minus z0 power n upon 2 pi i integral over c f x i upon x i minus z into x i minus z to the power n d x i so point number 4 so far we have established up to equation number 4 we will get the required result if we show that r n tends to 0 as n tends to infinity it will become identical to this we have to prove fz equal to fz 0 plus sigma n equal to 1 to infinity z minus z to power n by factorial n f n z 0 so the result will be established if you show that r n tends to 0 as n tends to infinity now this is our main work which remains to be proved so we will get the result required result if you show that r n tends to 0 as n tends to infinity since mod z minus z 0 equal to r we have already supposed and mod x i minus z 0 equal to rho we get now we want to find the value of mod x i minus z we can write it equal to mod x i minus z 0 minus z minus z 0 and by property of mod this will be greater than or equal to mod x i minus z 0 minus mod z minus z 0 and this will be equal to rho minus r this is rho this is r so this is rho minus r also if mod f x i has the maximum value m on c we get from 4 mod of r n so this will be modulus of all this entire expression that is mod z minus z to the power n by 2 pi i integral over c f x i upon x i minus z into x i minus z to the power n by the property of Riemann integration mod of integral will be less than or equal to integral of the mod this is constant this comes out of mod so this is this remains mod z minus z to the power n upon mod 2 pi i integral over c mod f x i mod d x i upon mod x i minus z into mod x i minus z to the power n 
एंड दिस विल बी लेस देन इक्वल टू आर एन बाई टू पाई मॉट जेड माइनस जेड जीरो इज आर एन आर सो दिस इज आर टू पावर एन एंड मॉट टू पाई आई दिस विल बिकम टू पाई बिकॉज मॉट ऑफ आई विल बी वन एटीकल ओवर सी एम टाइम्स मॉट डी एक्स आई अपॉन दिस इज रो दिस इज सॉरी दिस इज रो माइनस आर एंड दिस इज रो so this is root to power n and because mod fx i is less than equal to because m is the maximum value of mod fx i that is why it is less than equal to rn upon 2 pi integral over c m times mod dx i upon rho minus r into root to power n and this will become equal to rn upon 2 pi m upon rho minus r rho to power n And integral over c mod dx i will become 2 pi rho. The area of the length of the entire curve. That will be 2 pi rho. This is a radius of of radius sorry circle of radius rho. So its perimeter that is length of the arc will be 2 pi rho. And this gives m rho upon rho minus r into r by rho power n. Suppose number five. Since r is less than rho, we have already supposed r is less than rho and rho is less than rho zero. The right hand side of five, r is smaller than rho, so this will become less than one. So in the limit as n tends to infinity, this will tend to zero. Entire this expression will tend to zero as n tends to infinity. That is, r n tends to zero. R n tends to zero. As n tends to infinity, thus as n tends to infinity, the limit of sum of the first n terms of the right hand side of three is f z. Thus we have f z equal to f z zero plus sigma over n equal to one to infinity z minus z z to power n by factorial n. F n Z zero. The results have have been established. Note, Maclaurin series. What is Maclaurin series? If we put Z zero equal to zero in six, it is uses to F Z equal to F zero plus sigma over n equal to one to infinity. It will become Z to the power n because this is zero. By factorial n F n zero. This is called Maclaurin's series. Now we want to take up this example based on Taylor series for complex function. The example is expand log f log one plus z in a Taylor series about z equal to zero and determine the region of the convergence for the resulting series. Let f z equal to log one plus z. So what will be f zero? It will log one plus zero. That is log one, which is zero. The Taylor series is given by f z equal to f z zero plus z minus z zero f dash z zero. This series for different values of n beginning with one, n equal to one, two, three, and so on. Plus z minus z zero square by factorial two f double dash z zero and so on. Plus z zero z minus z zero to power n by factorial n f n z zero and so on. Suppose so number two, putting z zero equal to zero in two, we get f z equal to f zero plus z f dash zero plus z square by factorial two. F double dash zero and so on, plus z n by factorial n f n zero and so on. So point number three. Now we have to find these values f zero, f dash zero, f double dash zero and so on. Differentiating one with respect to z. So f dash z will be one upon one plus z log one plus z. Differentiation of log one plus z will be one upon one plus z. F double dash z will be minus one upon one plus z whole square. 
f triple dash z will be minus minus square into factorial 2 by 1 plus z whole cube and so on. So f and z we can write f and z equal to minus 1 to the power n minus 1 factorial n minus 1 upon 1 plus z to the power n. This implies f dash 0 this will be 1 f double dash 0 this will be minus 1 because this will be 0 f triple dash 0 this will be minus 1 square into factorial 2 this is 0 so this will become 1 and so on f and 0 will be equal to minus 1 to the power n minus 1 into factorial n minus 1 putting these values in 3 this equation we get fz equal to f0 this is 0 plus z times f dash 0 and this is f dash 0 is 1 so z into 1 plus z square by factorial 2 f double dash 0 and f double dash 0 is minus 1 plus z cube by factorial 3 f triple dash 0 and this is minus 1 square into factorial 2 and so on plus zn upon factorial n fn 0 this is minus 1 to the power n factorial n minus 1 and so on. So we get fz equal to z minus z square by 2 plus z cube by 3 because this factorial 2 will reduce it into 3 and so on plus minus 1 to the power n minus 1 z n by n and so on. So point number 4. Now we want to find the region of convergence of this series. Let u n denote the n term of the series in 4. Then u n will be equal to minus 1 to the power n minus 1 z n by n. This will imply u n plus 1 equal to minus 1 to the power n z to the power n plus 1 by n plus 1. Therefore, limit n tending to infinity mod u n by u n plus 1. This will be equal to limit n tending to infinity mod of z n by n upon z n plus 1 by n plus 1. And this will be equal to limit n tending to infinity mod n plus 1 by n into 1 by mod z. In the limit, this reduces to 1 upon mod z. So by DL numbers issue test, the series converges when 1 by mod z is greater than 1, that is mod z is less than 1. Okay, thank you very much.